Good morning, good morning, good morning. Rhonda Nickerson here. I am so sorry that I am so nasally, but my sinuses are kicking my butt. It's just, I get so much pollen outside that it's just terrible, but I'm gonna go ahead and do my prayer anyway. I just wanted to just say thank you again to everyone who has been supportive of my prayers and anything that I'm doing on social media. Um, just thank you. So let us pray. Dear God, I'm coming to you today so grateful. Grateful for your love. Grateful for your mercy. Grateful for your faithfulness. Grateful for your dedication to me. My dedication to your dedication to the people who are listening to this video right now. I'm coming to you today, God, asking for your forgiveness. Your forgiveness for us sinning. Your forgiveness for us not doing what you told us to do when you told us to do it. I'm coming to you today just grateful for you being so diligent of pushing us to do the things that you have called for us to do. I'm coming to you this morning asking for your grace. Your grace and your mercy on everyone who is listening to this video right now. I'm coming to you asking that you will guide us in the way that we are supposed to go. I have hope, I'm asking that you will help everyone to hear you and to take heed to what you are saying for them to do, for you know what's best for each of us. I'm also coming to you today, dear God, asking that you help those who are sick and those who are in pain. I ask that you heal their bodies and take the pain away. I'm coming to you today also asking that you help those of us who need financial blessings. Bless everyone who needs to be able to pay a certain bill. Bless everyone who needs to be able to pay their house note. Bless everyone who is who needs to just have stability. Bless us that when we get that stability, dear God, that you will allow us to be able to stay focused and stay with our, within our budgets so that we can continue to be debt free. I'm coming to you also today, dear God, just thankful, thanking you for the leadership that I have found, the sisterhood that I have found, um, being a Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. Um, I have learned so much in this short year of me being a part of such a wonderful sisterhood. I ask that you continue to, to allow me to be able to do the work, for me to be able to continue to do everything that I can to become a better leader, a better sister, and a better friend. I ask anyone who else is listening that needs that friendship or that sisterhood in their lives, that they are able to find their place and where they need to be so that they can also feel the love that I feel being a part of such a wonderful organization. I'm coming to you again, dear, dear God. Just so thankful. You have blessed me tremendously. You have blessed these people who are listening tremendously. And some of us are going through a very hard time right now, dear God. We're going through a season. Some seasons last a long time. Some seasons are over fast. But dear God, I ask that you bring us through. Bring us through these seasons so that we can understand what it is our purpose is throughout these seasons and where you're pushing us to where we need to be. Thank you for giving us the understanding that everything that we go through is only a, a, a teaching tool for us to be able to grow, for us to be able to learn, and for us to go where it is that you want us to be. I'm coming to you, dear God, again. Just so thankful. I just can't say how thankful I am for everything you have and will do for each of us. Continue to guide us and love us and protect us. I ask that you bless our children. Bless any children, anybody listening who is having issues with their children. If they have children that have ran away, if they have children who are not listening, if they have children who think they are grown and know it all, I ask that you help those children to understand that their parents just love them and want what's best for them. I have any anybody on here who is not treating their children well that they will that you will teach them how to treat their children so that children will be more receptive to them i also ask that you just bless me as a mother bless me as a wife bless me as a sister bless me as a daughter continue to allow me to follow your lead dear god so that i can bless the masses with my prayers with my knowledge and with my testimonies that i will share with the world one day and this i ask amen all right y'all happy saturday everyone i am going to be spending my day i really want to go to the picnic we're having a um a picnic a joint picnic um today but i'm gonna stay home i need to get my house in order you guys know i my shoulder has been hurt so i feel good today so i'm thankful so i need to get stuff done here at home so i will be taking care of home and then 
I'm taking my husband on a surprise. I got us something a while back. And I'm not going to say on here because he may be on here and hear what it is. But I'm surprising him. Our anniversary is our 10th anniversary on May 3rd. So this is my gift to him. So we're doing something tonight really, really fun. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, but yeah, blessings to everyone. Uh, love you guys so much. And thank you guys so much for the support. And I just ask God to continue to give me the right words to say to bless each and every one of you. All right. Until next time, guys, have an uh, amazing day. And excuse me, let me go blow my nose down. Bye, guys.